Hi guys, Ajay here. So this semester, we're going to largely be using something called the class notebook in Teams in order to submit all of our work. So I'm just gonna give you a little tutorial on how that works. Okay, so if you go into Teams, you'll click on your class. Right now I'm in a test team and you'll see in that team that you have a tab that says class notebook. So we're gonna click on the class notebook do. And sometimes it takes a while to load. Um, I find that it's often longer on the PC in my Surface the iPad phone. It's actually usually quite fast. Um, you also have OneNote itself. So you see my little OneNote tab down here that um, you can also access the class app notebook from. Um, I recommend getting that in your phone. So then you're going to click here on the little like bookshelf thing and you should see your name down there. So my name is Audrey Baker. So you'll see my name right here. And if you click on your name, you're going to have quite a few tabs. And so depending on what you're submitting this semester, um, you'll go to a different tab and submit where you're supposed to submit. So these tabs have different names than what you guys will have. But let's say that you're told to submit under the tab other in the first day survey tab. So right here, for example, I have first day survey. So then I would go and I would click down below. If you don't click down below, it's not gonna let you do it. And then I'm gonna go up here where it says, oops, do, 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 do. insert, there we go, sorry. Where it says insert and you can insert a picture, you can insert a file, a PDF, it really doesn't matter. So you'll click on what you wanna insert if you wanna insert a picture. So I'm gonna insert a picture from my file here. Um, I'll just choose where that picture is. I don't know, I guess we're doing this. And I will insert the picture. It'll take a second. Once it has loaded, there you go. Now I'll be able to see that too and you have finished your submission. Let's say that you know that you're submitting um, a file. So you have two options for submitting a file. One is insert file attachment. If you do that, I'm not gonna be able to grade your work. It's gonna be very difficult for me to interact with your work. So I'm gonna need you to click insert file printout. Now, when I click insert file printout, I'll choose a file. Um, I don't know, let's pick something a little more interesting than that, do, 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 I don't know. Why don't we, our first Cal1 assignment. Maybe you're not Cal1, doesn't matter. I'm clicking on the PDF, I'm inserting the PDF as a printout, not as an attachment, and notice it will load in there. Now, if you have a Surface or an iPad or something, you can also click on draw and really easily write inside here. It's a little bit harder with a mouse, which is what I'm using now, but I'll click on blue and I'll be like, Hello. So you can also write in the pages in the class notebook. Um, you can also type inside of there, do anything you want. So like if you would prefer to answer questions, for example, at the first day survey by typing them into the page, that's absolutely allowed. Now, sometimes a page might not exist for what you want to do. So let's say that you're submitting a quiz and you haven't, you've just been told to submit it under the quizzes tab, there is no page for it. You can easily add a page and maybe you'll get the title quiz one. So you'll do that up here and then you'll click down below and once again, insert the picture, insert the file, however you need to do that or however you choose to do that. Um, so it's pretty simple to use the class notebook. Hopefully this makes some sense to you. Um, if you have any trouble at all, please don't hesitate to ask me questions, but I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm available via Teams messaging or MIO, so ask me questions if you need it. Bye, guys!